Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Since bunnies are typically voiceless animals, it can be hard to discern when they are trying to communicate with us, especially when it's over something negative. Yep, you heard that. Bunnies don't make any vocal sound, apart from a couple exceptions, one of which may include a very rare scream that can be heard when they're extremely scared or in excruciating pain. And while I'll probably make a separate video on signs your rabbit is sick, today I'll be going over the critical signs your rabbit is begging you for help. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and hit the bell for unlimited bunny content. Number one, thumping. Thumping is how rabbits warn other rabbits that danger is nearby. Thumping can happen once or be continuous. If your rabbit thumps, it could be due to one of two reasons. Your rabbit feels threatened by something or is unhappy. You can comfort your rabbit by giving them affection and reassuring them that everything is going to be okay. Number two, rattling or biting the cage bars. This action can be loud and worrisome. As we know, rabbits don't belong in cages or small enclosures. So when a rabbit begins chewing the cage bars, they are absolutely begging you for help. Rabbits need lots of space to run and hop around, which just requires a little bunny proofing around the area. Number three, hiding. Rabbits are masters at hiding. As prey animals, it's really what they do best. But don't mistake a simple nap sesh under the bed for a rabbit that's scared or ill. If you find your rabbit refuses to come out even when offered a treat and they remain in the same hunched position all day, that's a sign they're not doing well and could require a trip to the vet. Aggression. Rabbits are not aggressive by nature, but can definitely exhibit aggression when provoked. Causes can include feeling threatened, going blind or deaf, or hormones. If your bunny's behavior suddenly turns aggressive out of nowhere, it's important to try to solve why. Maybe it's the environment, or maybe you need to consult with your vet regarding underlying health issues. Number five, changes in grooming or maintenance. This can be seen prominently with an aging rabbit or a special needs rabbit. Older rabbits that are getting weaker or developing arthritis may have difficulty cleaning themselves in hard to reach areas, such as their backside or standing up straight to clean their ears. Help your bunny out by cleaning those areas for them. Never submerge your bunny in water. You can clean your bunny with pet friendly wipes or a damp cloth. Consider getting your bunny a loving partner who can help groom them as well. Number six, shaking. A terrified bunny will obviously start shaking. Remove your bunny immediately from the scary situation and try to comfort them by petting them and talking to them. If their fear does not subside after a long time, take them to the vet right away. Not eating. Bunnies love to eat. It's one of their favorite pastimes and they would do it all day if they could. So if your bunny hasn't touched their food all day long or refuses their favorites, that's a huge red flag. That's definitely one way your bunny is communicating they're not feeling well. Lack of appetite can be caused by many things like dental pain or gas. Examine their stools and overall behavior to determine whether they are ill and need to see a vet or not. Grunting. Grunting is one of the few vocal sounds a rabbit will make when they are annoyed or stressed. And it sounds, well, just like you'd expect. Sometimes grunting can be followed by lunging if your rabbit feels threatened. When your bun is grunting, stop what you are doing and reassure them that you mean no harm with a calm, soothing voice. Give them a treat or even pet them if they allow it. Teeth chattering. Soft teeth chattering can indicate peacefulness and joy. It's the equivalent to a cat purr, but loud teeth chattering is a sure sign of pain. Pay close attention to this sound and try to examine what could be causing the pain. Help your rabbit out by taking them to the vet as soon as possible. 
pupil dilation. Pupil dilation is connected to an increase in adrenaline. Rabbits may be overattentive, overstimulated, or if afraid, their pupils will dilate. Are they in a new environment? Going for a car ride? Do they hear a dog barking? All of these instances can cause your rabbit's pupils to pop. Comfort your rabbit as much as possible until the stressful situation subsides. Loneliness and depression. Because they are social animals, rabbits need social interaction to be happy. This is best achieved through companionship with another rabbit, but can also be achieved through interaction with other living beings like humans or a well-trained and well-behaved non-predatory pet. It's important to make sure your rabbit is not depressed and that they're stimulated. Give them lots of love and attention, even if it seems like they aren't seeking it. And lastly, screaming. As mentioned in the beginning, if a rabbit vocalizes their desperation, you can bet there's serious trouble. Screaming is something I don't have an example for and don't ever wish to have an example for because it would indicate extreme trauma for the rabbit. If you ever hear a scream, rush over to your rabbit immediately to try to rescue them from their traumatizing situation. And here's an honorable mention. Your rabbit may just directly and very literally ask you for help. This can be exhibited through behaviors like looking for you, nudging you, hiding under you as shelter, or seeking assistance reaching for something they need. In this case, it's always important to have a rabbit's essentials available to them at all times, like hay and water. When the signs are that obvious, you have to lend them a hand, regardless of the situation. Remember, bunnies will absolutely notice your efforts to help them, which will only make your bond stronger with them in the long run. And you might just be surprised to find that they help you out with something one day. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below on any signs that you would include on this list. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for unlimited bunny content, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.